Good morning. Welcome to Faith Bridge. So glad that you are here. If you are on the Klein campus in Center Court East or Center Court West, if you're at the Woodlands campus, if you're online, however it is that you're here, we're really glad that you're here. So before Ben Stewart comes out to bring us God's word in just a moment, let me, in the spirit of transparency, give you a little third quarter update. Any number of you have said, really appreciate these quarterly updates that you're giving on our generosity, on our giving. It just kind of helps us to feel included, like what's exactly going on. Appreciate your being transparent, especially after 2015, which was a rough year uh, for, our, for our church and for many churches um, in this current economy, certainly in the Houston area. But 2016, we came in with a, an adjusted budget, and you'll remember when all the bills were paid at the end of the first quarter, and all the ministries were funded, and all the missionaries taken care of, we actually had $4,000 extra. To use business terms, we were $4,000 in the black. And so we said, praise the Lord. We went into the second quarter, and the news got even better, because we finished that quarter two hundred and sixty thousand dollars in the black so how did the third quarter go well i'll show you right here you see the line that goes across the screen that line represents our total budget that is certainly everything that happens on the klein campus that's the woodlands campus that's our bridging for tomorrow ministries uh, that's our international uh, missionaries, that's all of our staffing, that's our kids' ministry, our youth ministry, and on and on and on, the whole thing, okay? You'll see as you look at the 13 weeks of the third quarter, we met or surpassed budget three of those Sundays, the others we fell beneath. That means we finished the third quarter up by $120,000 dollars so you'll see we're up on the year we're down from the second quarter because we had to eat into some of that progress that begs the question why did it go down i think the simplest explanation is third quarter include your summer months that's the summer slump that's when people take their family trips go out of town take their travels uh and they tend to take their wallets with them when they go out of town and so uh, the good news about that is uh, people come back. We're back in our rhythm in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarters are always typically um, a strong quarter. And so, but, but while I'm thinking about it, that does remind me just to emphasize how important every single week is. Every week matters. And every single gift matters, whether it's a big gift, whether it's a small gift. They're all adding up and they, they matter um, as we go week to week. Which also reminds me, I want to say thank you to the many of you who've signed up. You do your giving electronically, online, automated. And that just really helps so much because whether you're in town or not, it happens in a predictable way, which helps an organization like ours that's 100% dependent on donations. And I want to invite you and challenge any number of you who haven't signed up for that way and you're still using an old-fashioned checkbook and that's all right, that's okay, but if you would prayerfully consider signing up and being a part of the online, even better. So you can ponder that. Last week, if you were here, you know, we talked about how we are the salt of the earth, we're the light of the world, and we talked about how uh, the Christian church has to move towards the darkness, towards despair, towards hopelessness, towards cynicism. And throughout Christian history, that's what Christians do. We move where all of that is. We don't retreat from it. Some people think we're kind of in a time like that right now in our nation. There's a lot of despair, a lot of cynicism, a lot of hopelessness. This is no time for retreat, friends. This is where we who follow Jesus have to realize we have the hope of the world, Jesus Christ. We've got the gospel. We've got to move forward, not retreating, but advancing. And so I want to invite you, I want to challenge you, especially as we go towards the end of the year here, to consider and prayerfully uh, consider being as generous as you can be. To the many of you who already are doing that, I say thank you. To some of you who are in between jobs, I want to assure you this is no guilt trip for you right now. Hang in there. 
uh, while you're in between, praying for you. To those of you who are hearing me right now and you kind of tuned me out because you're saying, well, you know, I only come here about five or 10 times a year, maybe 15, maybe 20. Um, He's talking to his people who come 52 Sundays out of 52 Sundays the whole year. Let me assure you, those people don't exist anymore, not with all the traveling that happens uh, with people having jobs here and there and sports here and there and there. If you come 5, 10, 15, 20 times a year, I'm talking to you. I need your help, and I'm going to invite you to step into what's going on as we seek to make more and stronger disciples for Jesus Christ to make more and stronger disciples for Jesus Christ. So you be generous, too, as the Lord blesses you, remembering that to whom much has been given, he says, much will be required. So I'll ask you um, to consider prayerfully being generous around here as well.